What's going on, YouTube? Billy Rains here, coming to you with the trucking news. How's everybody doing today? Me, I'm doing pretty good. Today's article is coming to us from CDLLife.com, our favorite source of news. House bill seeks to overhaul trucking industry with trucker tax credits up to 10K, parking improvements, and more. Let's talk about it. A bill introduced this week in, US, in the U.S. House of Representatives seeks to make sweeping changes to the trucking industry in hopes of recruiting and retaining more drivers to maintain the nation's supply chain. The Safer Highways and Increased Performance for Interstate Trucking, or SHIP IT Act, because you know the government loves them acronyms, was introduced on January 24th by U.S. Representative Dusty Johnson, a Republican from South Dakota, and Jim Costa, a Democrat from California, so that makes it bipartisan. Disruptions in our trucking supply chain continue to drive up costs and create uncertainty for American consumers and producers, said Costa. We need to recruit, train, and retain truck drivers to keep our supply chain moving while also updating best practices to improve trucking to fit our modern economy. That is why we introduced this bipartisan legislation to strengthen the workforce and make it easier to move products across the country. The Ship It Act would provide tax credits to encourage drivers to enter and stay in the trucking industry. Established truck drivers would be eligible for a tax credit of $7,500, while new drivers entering the industry would be eligible for a $10,000 tax credit. And a tax credit, it's not like they're giving you money. So this isn't like them giving you money. All this does is count towards your taxable income. So for example, if you made $97,500, you would only be taxed as your income being $90,000 because you take that $7,500 tax credit off. The bill would also allow truckers to apply for Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act grants to help further to help future drivers pay for entry-level driving training costs or other driver education costs. Additionally, the bill would provide competitive grants to states or private entities to create more safe trucking parking opportunities. Lawmakers also included a measure in the Ship It Act to streamline the CDL process, making it easier for states and third parties to administer testing. So what do you guys think about that part? Like, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about them streamlining the CDL process and making it even easier. Than it, I mean, getting a CDL is already pretty easy, but imagine them making it even easier. Let me know down below what you guys think about that. Americans experienced a slew of freight disruptions during and after COVID, the COVID-19 pandemic, said Johnson. Last year, we addressed ocean shipping reform and it's clear that updates are needed for other parts of the supply chain. The Ship It Act will bridge gaps between costs, keep costs down for consumers, and make it easier for shippers to move products across the U.S. Anyway, guys, that's going to about do it for this video. If you like the video, hit that like button on your way out the door. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out a ton. Also, subscribe and hit the bell so you can get these news stories as soon as they come out. And comment down below, what do you think about this bill, specifically about it becoming even easier for people to get their CDL? Thanks, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.